I hope you don't think less of me, but I'm going to make ribs in the slow cooker. Hi, everybody, and thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you actually can make really good ribs in the slow cooker. You don't have to use your offset smoker, your electric smoker, your charcoal grill, your gas grill. You can actually make them in the slow cooker. Also, a lot of people use the oven, but the slow cooker gives you, number one, a lot of convenience. You can put them in there and pretty much forget about them for seven or eight hours. Today, I'm gonna to be using St. Louis cut pork spare ribs. Now, they're all trimmed up, the membranes removed. Our rub today could not be simpler. We've got brown sugar, and a spicy garlic global fusion rub from the Spice Hunter. So let's get this rub made. So we have about a cup of brown sugar here, and to this we're gonna add, I don't know, four or five tablespoons of this uh, spicy garlic rub. Two, three, four, five, that looks good. All right, let's get this mixed up. Let's get this on the ribs. Gonna be nice and generous with this rub. I've mentioned before, I usually don't put anything on the outside of my ribs or any other cut of meat, usually like mustard or anything as a binder to hold stuff on. I just don't find that that's that big of an issue. Make sure you get the ends rubbed. I never forget about this back side of the ribs, you know, the bone side. It needs rubbed just like this front side. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of the racks rubbed and we'll get them in the slow cooker. So in the bottom of the slow cooker, I'm gonna put the remnants of some Mexican onions that we didn't use. That'll help with a little bit of flavor, but mostly it's just to kind of keep these bottom ribs from just laying on the hot surface of the slow cooker. Wanna get them up just a little bit. So let's start getting these in there. And they are just going to lay right on top of each other. Just like that. I'm also going to add about a half a cup of some non-alcoholic spiced apple cider. Now this is just to give a little more moisture in there to begin. It really wouldn't need it over the long run, but you don't want to take a chance on these getting too dry. I don't think they will, but this isn't going to hurt. Now I'm not going to pour it over the top of the ribs. I'm just going to pour it down the side so it gets down in the bottom. Now let's get this covered up, programmed, and cooking. We're going to program this for about eight hours because that's probably what it's going to take. And we're going to do it on low. And we're cooking. I'll see you all in about seven hours. Okay, welcome back a little early. It's been about five hours, and let me show you the ribs right now. I pulled them out because I want to sauce them with some barbecue sauce, but let's take a look at how well they're pulling away from the bones. So you should be able to see down here, the meat is pulling away nicely from the bones, just as we want, and it's starting to probe. Very tender. Remember, you can use your probe from your instant read thermometer not just to test temperature, but to test tenderness. And so far this is doing well, but I want to get some sauce on these to give them a little extra flavor and color. These already have a bit of nice color on it, but I want to give it a little bit more along with this flavor. So just a light brushing of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind you want. This is a mixture of Sweet Baby Ray's and Hatch's Chili Barbecue Sauce. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these done and we'll get them back in the cooker. Let's get this last half rack of ribs in here. Get our cover on. Okay, we've got about two more hours to go and I'll bring you back then. All right, it looks like the ribs are ready. So let's get some out and taste them. Ooh, those look good. You can see that meat is pulled away from the bone there. Looking good. All right, let's slice up some ribs to taste here. Let's 
see how it's looking. That looks really good. No smoke ring, we didn't smoke them, but these look tasty. Let's give them a try. Here we go with the taste. Mmm. These are super tender. Oh man. I don't know if you can see that. It just peels right away from the bone right there. It is so tender. It's kind of like the pork butt. If you pull the bone out when it's perfectly cooked, it just comes away clean. Look at that. No meat on that bone. Mmm but plenty of sauce in my mustache. Really get that spicy garlic that was in the rub with the brown sugar. Mmm, this is really good. I've got to go in for another bite. Oh, wow. These are really tasty. Very different from the ribs you're gonna get on a smoker. You're not getting that smoke, not getting the penetration, but you're getting a different kind of flavor here with the rub and the fact that it's sort of absorbing it through the moisture in the slow cooker. Mm. So that was about a total seven hour cook time in the slow cooker and those turned out just perfect, I think. If you like them a little more fall off the bone, go the full eight hours, I think you'll get there with that. If you're interested in any of the items I used in this video, I'll put links down below so you can go check them out yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it sure does help. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell. That way you'll get a notification anytime I put out a new video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great evening. I'm going to finish my ribs. See you again soon. Mm -hmm.